welcome back students now we are again here with our next session of teaching of physical science in this lecture video we will study about the organization and identifying the concepts of teaching learning process in physical science teaching i hope that you all had gone through the previous lecture videos and moving ahead in last lecture video we had discussed already the objectives of this paper and the concepts of task analysis or pedagogical analysis and now in this video lecture we will cover up the second part of this unit that is identification and organization of concepts for teaching learning of science till here now as you know that identification and organization of concepts are two basic concept component and an initial activity for teaching learning an efficient science teacher should know how best one can identify the organized design and assist in the process of learning experiences under specific conditions and situations to help diverse groups of students it is very important to understand for a science teacher that before starting any type of science activity or lecture we should prepare for our whole soul experimental as well as theoretical part it is very important that while delivering any type of theoretical lecture or theoretical concepts teacher must demonstrate some experiment related to that theory otherwise that concepts would not be concretely understoodable by the students and that's why the planning is important so in this particular session we will learn that what are those aspects which are necessary to identify the organization and uh, to identify and organize the concepts for teaching learning of science and what are the needs of those uh, identification and what are those aspects which are very very importantly affect the teaching learning process during any science lecture in middle school or a primary school so moving on the factors that need to be considered for organization of the concepts is uh, here it is so here i used three major factors maybe there will be more than six also it may be possible that uh, there are some seven eighth or maybe 10 factors can be possible for affecting the science teaching learning process but here i used majorly six parts six different factors which are importantly according to me so number 1 is students aspect whether you are uh, if you are going to teach any type of science lecture theory or practical in any type of group of students whether you ever considered that that content is relevant to that student whether that content will be beneficial for that student whether the uh, whether the content will be useful for the life of the student in the present time in which he is so according to me that students aspect is one of the biggest factor that need to be considered for organization of the concepts of teaching learning process our every activity whether we are planning or any lesson whether we are planning any type of activity whether we are planning any type of demonstration it is always based on the understanding and concepts level of student so first is the student consideration is most important and one should understand that what are the needs of students now the second one is content and process consideration <coughs> so content and process consideration which means that uh, suppose you are going to teach the human food or food in any type of middle school standard so what will be your process what will be your next step what will be your process whether you are going to teach all the type of variants of food in a single day whether you are going to teach the variants of 
food in different days or maybe you divide them on the basis of their minerals vitamins carbohydrate fats so basically the content and process consideration means what steps you are using to deliver your content and that is the most important consideration after the student so here it is now the third one is time time management is very important because when you go into the classroom a standard lecture limit is 30 to 35 minute 30 to 35 minute is a standard lecture of any science teacher for any science teacher so whether according to your content consideration you had divided your content in three lectures and it is possible to complete one content or one topic of that major one into the single lecture so time management is very necessary if you are not going to manage your time then definitely it may be possible that uh, there will be a over time you have to done and in that case your content could not be delivered in a complete manner to the student so time management is also very necessary for the completion of curriculum and syllabus because as a teacher in the present scenario if i talk to a quite practical aspect then there is a competition is going to be in between the students and the schools and the teachers that whose result will be the best so it is important that your curriculum your syllabus should complete in the given time interval for that you have to divide your chapters you have to divide your chapters into different topics and you have to divide your topics into different sub topics and even different sub topics can be divided further but whole solely on a comprise manner the whole syllabus must be complete in the given time interval and with the quantized values of number of lectures so you have to consider the time limit of your lecture while you are going to deliver any type of content and that's where the third consideration time is important that time management is very necessary for any teacher so that is one this is two this is three and now the fourth one is resources resources consideration is also very need to be considered while we are going to teach any type of content we must develop our every type of resource either it may be print material either it will be any type of object teaching learning material it may be a, any model it may be any type of demonstration it may be any type of instrument but basically you have to enrich your resources because if you have resourceful if you are resourceful if you are a resourceful science teacher then definitely it will impact your students very much they will facilitate it towards yourself they will uh, learn so much things from you so that's why the resources are the most important consideration one of the important consideration in the organization and identifying the teaching learning needs now the fifth one is teacher consideration i use this particular uh, factor to make you understand that uh, how teacher is important for a science teaching process first that is knowledge content creator content creator creative and most importantly practical knowledge these are basic four specialties which must be uh, which must a teacher have if he is going to teach uh, science in any type of middle or primary school level so as a teacher when you are going to teach any type of science subject or it may be it may be bio it may be physics or chemistry even uh, mathematics also mathematics also a kind of science so basically you have to enrich yourself by your knowledge 
by your creativity by your uh, practical knowledge and most importantly you have to uh, develop a skill to connect the previous knowledge of a student with the topic if a teacher is able to connect the previous knowledge with the current content then definitely the student will feel the maximum outcome from the teacher and you can get the maximum feedback from the students so that is the most important part of the identifying the factors of consideration for organization of the concepts of teaching learning process so this is the fifth one which is most important and the sixth one is here that is technical aspects uh, in present scenario as you know that uh, information communication technology and scientific equipments laboratories and their different softwares hardwares are present to enrich your content to enrich your class so technical aspects are also very important if any school or a teacher is able to develop the technical uh, support technical assistance then definitely they should because uh, in the present time as we all know that students kids are quite facilitated facilitated towards the technical gadgets and equipments so if you are going to teach the students from technical gadgets technical instrument then definitely they will love it and you feel that you give the maximum output to the students so these are the basic six factors which to be considered for organization of concepts for any learning process let's understand that what are the needs of these factors why we should learn them why we should uh, go through them why should we consider these factors so they here are so needs of identifying and organizing organizing concepts for teaching learning science so one should what are the most relevant concepts to the topic what are the most important relevant concepts of the topic that's why we used to develop any type of factor and identify the factor next one is what student need to know about particular topic third what are the misconceptions and naive concepts student might have and their way of removal yes it is the most important thing for a science teacher so many times if i talk about my personal experience then when i go to the any classroom for teaching the science then i realize that there are so many misconceptions and naive concepts are concretely built in the mind of students towards any type of uh, activity towards any type of phenomena of physical world so as a teacher it's your responsibility to remove that misconception and naive concept so that's why we are going to identify the factors and that's why we planned our teaching learning process what misconceptions and naive concepts might arise during the teaching learning and how will these be tackled it may be possible that while you are teaching when you are teaching in the classroom then because of your false declaration and because of your some uh, misword or wrong pronunciation a student can understand the misconception or or, not, or may develop any type of naive concept so it's also your responsibility to tackle that one now the next one is what will you do to ensure that your student understand the concepts and what are the learning indicators that can show that students have meaningfully understood the relevant concepts of the process so these are six questions which will uh, which give you the if you are planned your teaching learning process well then you can easily get the answers of these six major problematic questions during any type of lecture so as in the previous lecture we had already discussed about the pedagogical analysis and task analysis which is quite related to this one in that lecture we had already discussed that task analysis is something to create your task in a certain steps that may enable you to put less effort but to get maximum output and that's what we are talking about here so as a teacher 
it is very necessary to understand these six considerations these six factors which will affect your teaching learning process if you understand these six factors quite good then definitely you will improve your teaching skills also and teaching methods also and student will love it so i hope that uh, this video should wrap up here in next lecture video we will come with the principles of identifying the concepts and teaching learning process so till then stay home stay safe thank you learners